All right, hi guys, uh, I'm Zach Hopkins, and uh, today I'm just gonna go over some of my stuff, fishing stuff for uh, bass fishing. I live in uh, Southwest Kansas. Uh, this is my first year starting to get into tournaments and club fishing and stuff. Uh, so that's been pretty great. Um, one of my like main places I get all my stuff is uh, Tackle Warehouse, Power Team Lures, and uh, Gambler. They make some pretty awesome stuff. I like Gambler a lot. Makes some pretty uh, great uh, flipping baits and uh, swim jigs or swim baits. Um, so you just like all the stuff I got. So like if you order stuff, you can ask for uh, stickers and stuff. Uh, so I I like Pirate Team a lot. Their their stickers pretty cool. Gambler's pretty awesome. There's Tackle Warehouse. Uh, except I put them on my truck, on my boat and stuff. All right, so my tackle. What I've got, I got. Uh, I've got set up into sections. I've got like my my worms in a bag. I've got my craw my crawfish and uh, trailers and stuff in another bag. So um, I'm just gonna go over just a few stuff that I got from like power teams and stuff and stuff that I like a lot and it's pretty great. Um, some some of the stuff that I really like are the watermelon, red flake, uh, wacky worms. That's what I use them for is for fishing wacky. Uh, I like them a lot, uh, and Kitchen Sink, that's another great color. I also like to uh, Texas Rig, so I got a bunch of worms. This is uh, Watermelon Red. Um, I haven't fished very many lizards. Uh, I just wanted to do, uh, know you guys' the input on stuff, and if there's something I'm forgetting that I need to invest in later in life, or later this season, uh, please uh, put it down in the description, or down in the comments below be great and also give me a thumbs up that'd be pretty awesome too uh this is a tequila sunrise uh power worm sanchez i use these a lot these are pretty great um and i also like black with red glitter uh mag two worms they're pretty bad zoom anyways uh this is what the tequila sunrise worms look like it's 10 inch room tail worm it's pretty Pretty big worm. And then I got some unlimited edition gooseberry laminate from Gary Yamamoto. I just get some more uh, wacky rigs and stuff. Pretty much all for my, my worms. But it's pretty decent selection there. Here's my uh, trailers and stuff. So one of the main things I use like on uh, as trailers, like for my jigs and stuff, would be like a craw derv, three and a half inches. It's a pretty uh, sweet looking trailer. It pulls apart here. It's pretty awesome. You can also use it for uh, punching grass mats and stuff. Um, and it also comes with, it's called the Hog Tonic. I haven't really used these yet. It's, uh, pretty, you just, like, mix it in there, I guess. That's it. Um, so I got a couple of those from Power Team. Um, I guess I'll just set them out in there. So then I also like Berkeley Havoc's, uh, Pit Chunks. So they look like they pretty... Awesome looking stuff. Almost like a pit boss. That's in perfect perfection green plate is what that was what that's in. Um I feel like that's gonna be a pretty darn good trailer or something for flipping. You guys will get through the match pretty well. Um this is called the kick and bee chunk i got uh it comes in a package like this but i got a couple different colors and it's another good trailer it's got some pretty wild legs that'll flail around and 
Hopefully get some pretty good bites, and that's the green pumpkin color right there. Um, I also got it in Alabama Craw, Toledo Special, green pumpkin with red flake, and black. That's all pretty good stuff right there. And then I had these from a long time ago, I forgot what they are, but they're like a crawfish creature type so you can be for uh, you can cut them off and put them on to uh, your jigs trailer you can do a lot with them I also got some pro crawl trailers from finesse pro baits they look pretty wicked they're kind of odd they're a lot of like rivets in it rivets in it so it'll displace a lot of water um, they're pretty small though. I was kind of surprised by the size of them. And then this? Nope. another one of those little crawl type baits. Then I got I also got them in black. Um, so then the pit chunk. This is in Bama Bug with black and blue flake sapphire in it. Pretty awesome. Got them in green pumpkin green. Which is like green pumpkin and green flake. They're pretty gnarly. And then these are from Gambler. I like these a ton for punching and doing a lot of stuff. They catch some really big fish. This is the new bait from uh, Gambler. It's called the Ugly Otter. You can split the tail if you want to. It splits down the middle and they'll make it kick more. You can also uh, split the appendages. So that's pretty pretty awesome. Uh, I got it in shadow blue, green pumpkin, and green uh, pumpkin red. And this one I got in the little otter. So it's it's quite a bit smaller compared to the ugly otter. But it's. I bet you can just catch some uh, smaller fish, just a little bit more finesse. They, they're picking something out that they want a smaller bait. I can start them getting like the later months of the year when the water's a little bit colder. And there's some more pit chunks. Alright, now here is what I like a lot. This is the Zoom Super Fluke. This bait is legit. I like this so much. I throw it around docks a lot, all of my weeds. Um, it's got a open belly on it. Uh, you hook it through the bottom, and then so the hook, hook's coming out the top. It's like a text rig. Um, you can use a bullet weight on the front of it, but I don't. I just use a non-weighted hook, so a free float, and it, it like quivers, and it's pretty uh, awesome. I don't, I don't use them for trailers or anything. I suppose you could, but they're pretty expensive. Um, and if you guys want to know all the prices, you can uh, email me at mrcuttergitter uh, at gmail.com. Uh, I can just give you a list of all stuff, or you can just go to the website and you can look them up that way. Um, I also got some big, easy, white lightning uh, twin baits. They're pretty big. I'm going to use these for... Uh, trailers and just I can use them for really anything I can text rig them get some big fish on those put them on jigs that's probably what I'll do put them on jigs I got that in white lightning these are I think they're five inches yeah these are five inches and then I also got the the easy swimmer which is I think a three and a half inch bait green with it like cream bottom onto it and it's pretty, pretty sweet it's called copper field is the color i also got it in uh so that's the white lightning the copper field and then the ghost shed which is like a blue it's pretty awesome so that's in, for all my uh Swim baits and crop type baits. Um, here I have like all my 
what are they called? My jig heads and stuff. I've got like some big punching jig heads. I think this is uh, an ounce and a half, maybe an ounce. Then I got like some 3 8 ounce just for outside cover. I got them in like black and blue. This is green pumpkin. Uh, I got them in brown and red. Uh, black and brown. Um, these ones I think are going to do really well. <clears throat> this is a white. Use that with one of those swim baits. It'd be pretty, pretty awesome. This is like to mimic like a bluegill. It'd look pretty good. So that's like my jig heads and stuff. I don't have a lot of them. I could probably get more. <clears throat> and then here I have like all my hooks. It's like my hooks for like my swim baits and stuff. Or anything like that. I got barrel swivels for California or uh, Carolina rigs. More barrel swivels. Beads. Uh, glass bead head. And then these are Strike King Tour grade uh, 3 amps. Bullet weights. Uh, these are 5 16th ounce bullet weights. And I've got just uh, Gamgatsu G Lock Worm Hook, uh, 2 aught. I have offset shank worm uh, EWG hooks at a one knot, and just uh, a ton of that stuff just for text rigging, doing all that stuff. Uh, I just got a bunch of lead weights, bullet weights. Maybe you can see that. But yeah. It's pretty much it for hooks and stuff. Um, Tackle Warehouse, I know it was Tackle Warehouse, nope, it was Power Team Lures, yep, Power Team Lures, I got this, what's it called, it's a shaky head, ticker and shaky head custom 7 inch kit, so then I got, uh, watermelon seed, ox blood, uh, kitchen sink, and green pumpkin red blake. So these are seven inch finesse worms. Um, there is kitchen sink. It's like a brown with a little bit of green and red flake. This is like a uh, green pumpkin. And that's the ox blood. It's got a little bit pink or purple on the bottom of it. That should be pretty good this summer. Yeah, and it comes with this hog tonic again. And you're supposed to put it in there, let it soak up. And it came with shaky head hooks, football jigs. Yep. There were some pretty big ones too. So that's for that. And then here, I got like all my dive mat, like my quick baits. I got, I like these a lot. Clack and Wrap from 2008. Um, I get these bit a lot. Um, I like these from Ke uh, Kim Van Dam's uh, Square Bills. They're pretty, pretty awesome. And then I'm just trying out this bait this year because it just came out. The, sh uh, the Shatter Wrap, I think is what it's called. With the new bill on it. It's pretty, pretty awesome. It's in the shad or perch, something like that. Um, I like... I use pretty deep stuff, um, but yeah, where I'm from, there's a lot of crawfish, there's a lot of craw, so just like that type of bait, um, that stuff, and these are all like 3 8 ounce to maybe a half ounce, probably these are more like a uh, half ounce or 3 quarters of an ounce, um, so yeah, that's like all my swim jigs, my swim baits, they're like rattle traps, square bills and stuff. Here's my So I've got I got a whole bunch of these uh, storm uh, jerk baits. 
uh, Twitch stick is what they're called. This is, I think, it's in bluegill. And I think it's perch. Um, I like those a lot. Those are those work really good around cover. And then I got some old uh, checker spooks and stuff that I use. Those work pretty good. And then the the booyah. I think this is the pad crasher or clack or I think it's pad crasher. Um, from booyah. And then I also use. A Yozuri uh, Ghost Shad Topwater. And this is one of my all time favorite swim baits right now. Uh, one of my old neighbors, he gave it to me. They, uh, it's from Rapala. No, it's not from Rapala. It's an SNL Micro Lure Sinker. Um, it's a double jointed. It hasn't been made for like 15 years now. Or this color, this size. Um, it's pretty old. Uh, I catch tons of fish on it. And then. I have tons of spooks that I use. There are spooks that just just get smashed. Tons of spooks. That's that's what I use typically when I'm on the lake, mid early morning and stuff. I get on top water. Now I got my like spinner baits. I got like I only really truly use only like three colors, which would be like black and my. Uh, buzz baits. I use black. I use white. This is, this just has a different skin on it. And I use. I'm trying out trailer hooks this year. I just want to see how they work. Some Gotham got you trailer hooks. Um, buzz bait. It's just, it's supposed to be yellow, but I got some white and chartreuse uh, stuff onto it or uh, skirts. I use and then I use my chartreuse. Or here's, here's a white one. White buzz bait, and then I got my yellow buzz bait. That's for that. Um, I'm also getting into uh, the Z-Man chatter baits. Had that in black, yellow, chartreuse, brown, and. See, there you go. And then I also I throw a smaller red spinner bait. Whatever I'm trying to get a little bit smaller bite, or they're finicky and they don't want to go after something big. It's not too aggressive. Now I just got my trailer hooks. You just got my got to spinner bait trailer hooks. Um, Fishing. I have some rods. I might do a rod preview in a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have a lot of time between baseball and everything. Um, but yeah, um, I might be doing a tackle giveaway. I don't know. It just depends on how everything goes right now in my life. Um, I really think you guys should go check out uh, Power Team Lures, uh, Tackle Warehouse, and Gambler. Um, they're a really great place to get stuff uh they have a lot of tackle they have a lot of great stuff uh kevin van dam's uh series crankbaits and everything um this is uh zach hopkins and that's my uh, little review um please comment subscribe uh and that's pretty much it and comment below because i really need comments just to know what i'm doing and doing right or wrong uh yeah thanks